Hello everyone, welcome to soundproofguide.com. In this video, I'll be talking about soundproof joist tape and everything related to this product. Why you should use it, where you should use it, and is it really that beneficial for the cost? I've had some people ask me, should I use this tape while building a house or building a deck outside? I'll be answering those questions in this video. People are always looking for solutions when it comes to controlling sound in any room. One of the most significant issues comes down to footsteps and squeaky floors, but there is a solution that helps with that. In fact, it is useful and inexpensive, which is precisely what people are looking for. Soundproof joist tape is something that many people have been using over the years, and it has proven to be extremely valuable. Most of you probably have never even heard of soundproof joist tape, so here's a closer look of what actually it is and what it's made of. So the purpose of soundproof joist tape is to apply to the top of the floor joist to create a buffer between that and the subfloor. By doing this, there is a massive decrease in the amount of audible impact sound, whether it is coming from the footsteps, people have walking across the floor, or something else. It also eliminates floor squeaking as that usually happens when the subfloor ends up rubbing against the joist. While the primary purpose of soundproof joist tape is to use it on the floor, some people also use it on the ceiling and walls. This is because it can act as a bit of a decoupler between the studs and the drywall, which helps out with soundproofing as well. Now obviously it's not the same as actual decoupling where you would have something like a resilient channel, but it does add something between the subfloor and the joist or the walls and it creates not a decouple but a cushion and that cushion if applied everywhere it really helps with squeaking and of course the audible sound of footsteps mainly the vibrational sound that comes down will most likely be absorbed through this tape and mainly for a deck outdoors, it does help the wood to breathe a bit. This tape will also prevent a lot of moisture from going into the screw holes, which will preserve the life of a deck. Also, it does help for soundproofing the deck. All in all, soundproof joist tape is a useful option to turn to. A lot of people have counted on it as a fix that works. There might be some other solutions out there that works just as well, but it is inexpensive and easy for anyone to use. Just a quick pause, if you like this type of content, consider subscribing to our channel. And also feel free to leave a comment, I would love to hear your feedback, and also your questions that I would do my very best to answer. Thank you. So here are a few shopping tips for the right type of soundproof joist tape that you should buy for the project that you're going to be doing. So the first thing you want to look into is what is the joist tape made of, the material. Now, there are two different materials that it usually comes to with joist tape, and one is butyl, and the other one is asphalt. Most people prefer butyl tape, especially for outdoor decks, because it has a more wider temperature resistance, and also it is a lot stickier. Asphalt joist tape is still perfectly fine, and companies like DeckWise and Cofair use precisely that. It all comes down to exactly where the joist tape is actually used. So the next thing to look into is the insulation. Now, installing joist tape is really not that difficult. As you can see in some of the pictures that I've shown, you basically just install it on the joist. Just make sure that you don't have to cut too many pieces and make sure that no pieces ends up overlapping each other, creating a thicker section where you just want things to be even. So the next thing to look into is the thickness. Now, there are different thicknesses of joist tape. You don't want to go too thin because especially outside on the deck, it probably won't last as long as a thicker joist tape. However, you don't want to go too thick because then it just doesn't work well in some areas. I would just recommend 25 millimeters. That's basically good for outdoors and indoors, so that's a pretty good range just to go to. Look for 25 millimeters and go with that. And of course, the last thing to look into is price. Now, you can go like anything else with a budget joist tape. However, the budget type will cost just a few dollars less than 
the more known, well-known brands. If you go on Amazon, you'll see some Joyce tape that has thousands of reviews versus some that are cheaper that might have 10 reviews. Just go with the one with the thousands of reviews, the ones that are most trusted. Because in the long run, you won't be saving that much money and they come in rolls of 50 to 75 feet. So they do cover a lot of area. So if you do build a deck, you will only need a few rolls. So by going budget, you only save a couple of dollars, not worth it, go with a trusted name brand. So if you're looking for other solutions on how to soundproof a floor, this video will show you how eight ways on how you can do it yourself or at least know what you're getting into if you're looking into hiring a contractor. Feel free to take a look at many of our other YouTube videos and also some of our articles on our website soundproofguide.com. Don't forget to click the like button if you enjoyed this video and also consider subscribing to our channel if you like our content. Also feel free to leave us a comment below if you have any soundproofing questions of your own. We will certainly try our very best to help you. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video or any other videos in our channel. Thank you very much.